way, first time ever to Apalachicola. Ooh, that's a fun to say. Florida, the oyster capital of the world, even though I don't eat oysters. And so we're gonna see what it's about and see about St. George Island, small little town. Sounds like my kind of place, let's see. All right, so we've left Bainbridge and we are now in the Sunshine State, Florida, where it has looked like this for the last 895 miles. And we're about a little over an hour from Apalachicola. And we're gonna follow this log truck all the way because he's clearly delivering logs to our inn. That's the hallway to our room. And this is the communal kitchen, which I guess means we're now in a commune. Got the refrigerator. I heard it had a microwave. I may not be seeing it. There's a Keurig. We'll be using that. And there's also a toaster oven, which pretty much when I find the microwave will cover all of my cooking skills. So this is our room, Popham's Place. As you can see, it's very rustic, but that's what we were looking for. Got wooden floors, wooden walls, wooden ceiling. If you like wood, this might be your place. Old thingamajiggy to put your clothes and stuff. Nice fan at the desk, ceiling fan here. These old school windows here and no television i'm okay with that i don't think i need to see anything and an old school bathroom with some pretty cool furnishings and once you figure out how to open a door this is the porch wraps around part of the way this is the window to our room. That's my chair. And here's the rest of the porch. The rocking chairs. And probably a, some sort of local resident here. <laughs> and a nice view of the creek, which heads into the bay. Okay, so I'm here at St. George Island, down at the State Park. This is one of the top 10 beaches in America, according to somebody. Um, I have to say it's probably pretty accurate. Uh, the water is super clean. I just got out of it. There's no seaweed. Uh, one little encounter with a 12-foot angry bull shark, but no big deal. The waves are perfect for body surfing and wind surfing and regular surfing. And what I do, which is hang on the inner tube and float and bob up and down in the waves. So it's, as you can see, it's beautiful surf out here, very manageable. And the best thing about this beach is that because there's a $6 entry fee and because there's no alcohol allowed, it's a state park, there kind of cuts down the riffraff. And having been riffraff at one point in my life, I know that I don't want to be around a whole bunch of 18-year-old Chris Johnsons. So, in short, St. George Island, particularly the State Park, is nothing like Panama City. So, St. George Island is everything I love about Florida beaches and nothing that I hate about Florida beaches, namely the overcrowding, all the cigarette smoke, all the loud music, all the loud people, and all the overcrowding. It's, it's basically the perfect beach. So here's a pet peeve, you're at the beach. It's an uncrowded beach and you've got plenty of space to spread out 
and you see somebody already here and you plop down right next to them and at st george island you can't can't have fishing poles between the pavilions at the state park but some do it anyway and so what do you do you do your swimming right in front of the people next to you that plop down so i get to go swim with these people or i got to drag my cart down the beach around more normal people Perfect. Come on through. I'm Joe Public. Welcome to my beach. So this is the coolest shop we've seen on the trip. It's Frost Pottery Garden and Gift Shop. It's actually in East Point, just over the bridge from Apalachicola. Has all kind of cool items. Has a even has a gong in the far back that you can ring. A lot of cool mermaids, manatees, all kind of pottery. Although it does make me feel like somebody's gonna ask me to paint the fence or maybe wax their cars. So this is the final night in Apalachicola and we are on board with Captain Jack. And we're gonna go shelling and sunsetting and Hashtag sunsets. We'll be looking for dolphins and dragons and sea creatures and giant squid and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna build Apalachicola Bay coming up on the west end of St. George Island. We got Skinner playing on the radio and we are flying. So Captain Jack has dropped us off on a deserted island where we are doing some shelling. I can't see the boat, so I'm really hoping he's still there. I haven't paid him yet, so that's, that's a good sign, but there are shells everywhere here. It's just off the west end of St. George Island. So if you're looking to do some shelling without a lot of other people in your way, it's a good spot. Sunset cruise, two hour cruise, not a three hour tour. And lo and behold, it's a sunset. Water's a little choppy, hitting a few waves. I expect it to be about an inch or two shorter by the time I get back with all the bouncing and pounding. All right, so here are my final thoughts on Apalachicola, the Bowery Inn, St. George Island, and our stay in this beautiful, forgotten Florida coast. Apalachicola feels a lot like if you took the small town where I grew up along the banks of the Flint River and dropped it down by the Gulf of Mexico instead. I'm very comfortable there. If you're looking for a high rises, chain restaurants and amusement parks, Either head west to Panama City or down to Orlando, this ain't your place. As for the beaches on St. George Island that are supposed to be in the top 10 in the United States, they're the best I've been to, especially at the State Park. Definitely check out the State Park for less crowding. As for the Bowery Inn, it was unique, rustic, quiet, my kind of place. My wife thinks it's 80% where it needs to be. Of course, she thinks I'm about 20% where I need to be. Now, if you're looking for a TV and the comforts of a Hyatt or a Hilton, this is not your place. And there are other unique lodging options here in Apalachicola. But if I had my druthers, I'd rather stay in a beach house on St. George. And finally, either get on or get in the water, whether it's kayaking, fishing, or checking out sunsets and shells and dolphins on a boat. This is a water town. 
So that's a wrap from here in Apalachicola, Florida. Be sure to subscribe to kudzukid.com.